Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make hot glue treat art. Hot glue really lends itself to creating texture. The random strands of hot glue are already quite similar to tree branches and so making a tree out of it just seems so obvious. By combining only hot glue and paints you can create a very interesting piece of metal effect wall art. And at the end I'm also going to show you how to add some shiny golden leaves. This is a very simple project and I really hope you give it a go. In order to follow along, you're going to need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. I used black glue sticks simply because it's easy to see against the white canvas, but you can use any colour. A canvas. I used a 30 by 30 centimetre gesso primed stretched canvas. You can use any size you like, but you don't want something too narrow. A large paintbrush. I used a stenciling brush to allow me to push the bristles into the gaps in the glue, but any large paintbrush will do. Gold and black acrylic paint, some paper towel or kitchen roll, some gesso, a pair of scissors, some all-purpose glue, I used UHU all-purpose glue, a non-stick mat that won't stick to hot glue, or you can wrap parchment paper around a cutting mat. And finally, some imitation gold leaf sheet, some tweezers and some foil glue. I personally used Zig Memory System two-way glue. If you can't get hold of those last items, you can always gesso the hot glue leaves and then paint them gold instead. The first step is to protect your work surface from the hot glue and from the paint. I used a non-stick craft sheet. Then plug in your glue gun to get it heated up. You don't have to do a tree exactly like mine, you could leave off the roots or have the tree to one side of the canvas for instance instead. Simply use your glue gun to create glue trails. I started at the roots then went up through the tree trunk and then went outwards to become the branches. Take the glue lines right off the end of the canvas. Don't worry about going onto the sides. Make sure you keep the natural flow of the lines by going from the ends of the roots to the tips of the branches. For example, there shouldn't be any horizontal lines in the tree trunk. Once you've finished and the glue has hardened, remove all of the messy thin strands that you don't want and tidy up the edges using scissors. Next, use your paintbrush to apply gesso all over the canvas and the hot glue. The purpose of this is that gesso will help the paint stick to the glue rather than sliding off. Try and get into all of the little gaps. Once the gesso has dried, apply gold acrylic paint all over the canvas, including on the edges. Again, make sure to get the paint into all the little gaps in the glue. Once the gold paint has dried, apply black acrylic paint over the top. I ended up doing this step in two halves, so that the black paint didn't have time to dry too much before rubbing the paint off the glue strands. So paint one half of the canvas, then use paper towel to rub as much of the paint off again as you can, mostly from the raised hot glue. When you do this, you'll see that the hot glue starts to look like brass as the gold shows through. Then paint the other half of the canvas and do the same again. I 
I then moved on to making the golden leaves. To do this, you need to make lots of little leaf shapes out of hot glue. Make sure you do this on a mat that the hot glue won't stick to, or parchment paper. I personally made 19 leaf shapes. Once the leaves have cooled down and hardened, apply foil glue all over the top. If you're using the same glue as me, it will be bluish at first when it's wet and then it will dry clear. When it's dried clear, it's tacky rather than wet and that's what we want. Tear off small pieces of the gold leaf and press them onto the leaves. I found it easiest to tear the sheet using my fingers and I also use my fingers to push the gold down over the leaves, all over. Tweezers came in handy for picking up small pieces and moving the gold leaf around. Once the gold leaf is on, make sure it's pressed down all over and use your fingers to rub the edges to remove the excess. Make sure you rub the leaves lightly because you don't want to remove the gold. Before I added these leaves to the picture, I decided I wanted more contrast between the tree and the background. So I just added a little bit more gold paint to the background. Then work out where you want the golden leaves to be positioned and glue them on. I used UHU all purpose glue. If you don't have any clear drying adhesive to do this, you could always use the hot glue gun again instead. And that's it, that's your textured wall art completed. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.